If you're watching this, there's a good chance you're trying to launch your own online store, but aren't sure which platform to trust with your time, money, and maybe even your dreams. I get it. Choosing between Hostinger and Shopify can feel like picking between convenience and control, between having everything handled for you and rolling up your sleeves to build something more tailored. I've worked with both, and the answer to which one is better isn't black and white. It depends entirely on what you're looking for. Now, before we delve into this a little more, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in trying out either Hostinger or Shopify, you can head to the description below and get yourself some really good discounts, including a discount code on Hostinger. So consider that if you're interested. Let's start with what each brings to the table. Shopify is a dedicated e-commerce platform. It's built with the sole purpose of helping people create online stores. So everything from the dashboard to the design tools is laser focused on selling products. Hostinger, on the other hand, is primarily a web hosting service. To sell products with it, you'll need to use something like WordPress with WooCommerce, which gives you a lot of flexibility, but also asks a little more from you in terms of setup and maintenance. Right out of the gate, Shopify wins on simplicity. Creating a store is pretty much a plug and play experience. You sign up, pick a theme, add your products, and boom, you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about hosting, installing anything, or figuring out plugins. If you're a beginner who just wants to start selling with as little friction as possible, it's kind of hard to beat that kind of streamlined experience. Hostinger, though, offers something different. When you set up a WordPress site using their hosting and install WooCommerce, you're basically building your own store from scratch, but with an insane amount of creative freedom. You get to choose your plugins, customize your checkout, and control every inch of your site. It takes more time and effort, but if you like the idea of owning the process and not being boxed in, Hostinger might be up your alley. Now let's talk features. Shopify is packed with e-commerce tools right out of the box. Inventory management is clean and intuitive. There's built-in support for tons of payment processors, and you even get features like abandoned cart recovery and detailed sales analytics without needing extra plugins. It's there built to make sure you don't have to go looking for the tools you need. Hostinger, on the flip side, requires a bit of assembling. WooCommerce doesn't come with all the bells and whistles unless you install add-ons. Some of those add-ons are free, some are paid, and some might overlap in functionality. But the upside is that you only use what you need. You're not stuck paying for features you don't care about, and you can create a much more customized store, especially if you have a unique product or a niche business. Design-wise, Shopify offers a clean selection of professional templates. You can pick one and customize it easily with their editor. It's not quite drag and drop in the same way other builders are, but it's intuitive. However, the catch is that if you want full control over design or use some of the nicer themes, you'll probably need to upgrade or pay extra. Hostinger through WordPress is a whole other world. You have access to thousands of themes and design tools like Elementor or Spectra, so if you can imagine it, you can basically build it. That said, it's also easier to break something if you're not careful, and the design experience isn't always as smooth unless you're using a visual builder plugin. Pricing is where things get interesting. Shopify has a clear cut monthly pricing model, and with that, you get an all in one platform that's ready to go right out of the box. As your store grows, the costs can increase, especially if you start adding premium apps or don't use Shopify payments to avoid transaction fees. But in return, you're getting a seamless experience with everything handled for you, which can save you time, headaches, and even money in the long run if you value simplicity and speed. And if you guys want to try out Shopify for yourselves, then feel free to check out the description below where you can try out Shopify for three days without paying a dime, and then you pay a dollar per month for the next three months. On the other hand, Hostinger is more affordable upfront. Their web hosting plans are cheap, especially if you use our site starters coupon code, which will knock 10% off that price for you. And you can get a WordPress site running for a fraction of what Shopify charges. But over time, costs can creep up if you start buying premium themes or WooCommerce add-ons. Still, even with those extras, you usually end up spending less than Shopify, especially if you don't mind doing a bit of setup work yourself. But let's not forget about performance. Shopify hosts everything for you and their infrastructure is designed for e-commerce, which means excellent uptime and fast loading speeds. Critical if you're expecting traffic spikes. It's basically worry-free hosting. Hostinger isn't a slouch either. Their servers are fast, especially if you go for their business or cloud plans. You'll also get built-in caching and a 
free CDN, which helps with performance. But because you're using WordPress, keeping things optimized is partially your responsibility. It's nothing overwhelming, but it's something to keep in mind. Support is another area where both do well, but in different ways. Shopify has 24 seven customer support that's laser focused on e-commerce. The reps usually know what they're doing and there's a massive library of tutorials and user forums. Hostinger also has 24 seven live chat support and their help center is surprisingly good. Plus the WordPress and WooCommerce communities are huge. There's a solution for just about every problem you can run into. Now comes the big question, which one should you choose? Well, if you're someone who wants to launch fast, avoid tech headaches, and just focus on selling, Shopify is probably the better fit. It's convenient, clean, and built for the job, but you'll pay more for that convenience. If you're someone who wants more freedom, cares about customization, or has experience or patience for learning tools like WordPress and WooCommerce, then Hostinger gives you a lot of power at a lower price. It's not quite as plug and play as Shopify, but the long-term benefits of owning your platform platform and avoiding transaction fees can really pay off. At the end of the day, the best platform is the one that matches your goals and your workflow. Whether you're a weekend hustler or building the next big brand, just make sure the tools you use are helping and not holding you back. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section down below. Consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. And don't forget about those deals and discounts in the description below. At any rate, though, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, make sure to take care.